What's up, Modern Stedders? You know what day today is? Today is Friday, and Friday is Modern Stedder Update. Let's go check on New York City. But first, we gotta get their grain. Better shut the fence off. So the last thing we want to do is get woken up by the electric fence this morning. Let's get the ramp down. Clean up their water. The ducks sure love to make a mess. But then we got the rainwater barrel right here. Makes it so easy. Talk about a sustainable city. We got a city right here collecting its own rainwater. New York City. Look at that. Town water. I love town water. That's the best town water system I've ever seen. Let's release the wild beasts. We even got all the ducks last night into New York City. You ready? They're gonna come out fast. Who's coming out first? <laughs> Mr. Biggs. <laughs> oh, I wonder if the duck laid any eggs inside New York City. Look at all the eggs back there. And yeah, we got a duck egg. We better get these ones. I thought we'd been a little low the last few days on chicken eggs. And the answer is, yep. Let's fill up their bath. <laughs> Let's collect some eggs while we're waiting for the bath to fill up. Hey lady, did you just lay that egg? I bet you did. We just missed her laying her egg. Man. Warm. And a duck egg. Thank you ladies. That is Pluto's favorite spot out in this pasture, is around that apple tree. <laughs> Protect the animals for the rest of the day. Let's check on the pullets. We joined both of our flocks together and look how good they're doing. They're doing amazing. They need some fresh grass. Let's get them moved. These pullets are doing good. Right now some of them are 15 weeks old, and some of them are 10 weeks old. We need to relist them on the interwebs for sale, but if any viewers out there are looking for pasture-raised, organic-fed pullets, we have eight of them available. Leave it in the comments down below, or send us a private message. They are some beautiful birds. They've been eating lots of grass and flowers, and they love it. Let's go check on all the heritage breed chicks and the ducklings. Pluto likes that they're outside. She can come and visit them. Yeah. 
This was their second night outside, and they're doing amazing. We roll the sides down at night, and roll them up first thing in the morning. We still got the three ducklings out here, and the rest of my chicks. It's looking to me like we have three different breeds. We have barred rocks, the brown ones, and the yellow ones. I don't know what they are yet. We might have four different breeds. Hopefully soon we'll be finding out what kind of chicks these are. This is gonna be exciting. These little guys are loving being out here in fresh pasture and plenty of fresh air. They're going around scratching and pecking and they're just loving it, having so much fun. They'd much rather be out here than they would be in the brooder in the basement. They can just run around and be chickens and ducks. I know we have a lot of new modern steaders and a lot of new viewers, so I just want to let you know, right here we have 51 meat birds we're raising up. They're different kinds of heritage breed meat birds. We don't know what they are yet. We ordered them from the hatchery and they just give you a frying pan special and what they have on hand hatched out is what they send you. So it's going to be exciting to find out what breeds these are and it's going to be exciting to find out which ones perform better for raising for meat and which ones taste better. We're going to be keeping track of all of that. We did that with our Cornish crosses and with our bod rocks. I'll link that video right here. Hey, Mr. Rufus, how we doing? There's a woodpecker. The Icelandic chickens are doing awesome. We're getting one to two eggs a day from them. We got one batch in the incubator right now. We'll go check on those in a few minutes. But these birds are doing awesome. There's Blackie, she's all hailed up. Doing good, and here are the other two we got with Rufus. They are some beautiful birds, and he's a beautiful rooster. You like that balancing beam, Rufus? Rufus really likes the cattle panel style chicken tractor. He's got the height to get up and down on his roosting pole. Let's go check on the hay bale gardens we did. We planted our purple cabbage and our purple broccoli and hay bales the other week. And that's all we did. We haven't done nothing else to them. These are some spent hay bales that were inside of our winter chicken coop last year that got inoculated with chicken poo and they're growing amazing food. Look at that, those are beautiful. Wow. This bale's not doing as good. Oh, look at those. They're beautiful. The plants are doing so good. So we have cabbage here, and then these are our broccoli plants. I'm gonna put a link right here to the video we did on growing our food in hay bales. Right here is our garden that we're growing in last year's pig pen for them being on pasture. And look at that zucchini. That thing's a thing of beauty. So we have a row of zucchini plants. And we've gotten five zucchinis out of here so far, and it's jamming already. And then we got our summer squash right here. Next is the row of spaghetti squash. And we have some pumpkins over here. These are just taking off. I'm not seeing any spaghetti squashes growing yet, but we got plenty of flowers. Back here we got our winter squash. Pluto, get out of the winter squash. Our renegade tomatoes that just started popping up all over the place in the pig's pasture are doing wonderful. And they're growing in a lot of shade. They're under the squashes and everything. Up here we have our cucumbers. They're going nuts. Look at all the baby cucumbers we have. We're gonna have so many cucumbers, it's gonna be awesome. Look at them all. 
Over here we have more hay bales from our winter chicken coop that we're growing squashes in. And then we got our potato tower that we've used spent hay from the winter chicken coop to grow our potatoes. Let's take a look at all these squash plants. Look at that. They're, look how huge those are. That's just grown in spent hay. We haven't watered it or done anything to it. Look at these. They're starting to come along. These are just some of our extra plants we had. I really don't remember which plant is which, so we're not gonna know what we have until they start producing. That's a zucchini plant. Look at that thing. More zucchinis, look at them all. There's three zucchinis right on this plant. There's another zucchini. And we just ate two off of these plants last night. There's a bunch of little baby zucchinis over here. Wow, look at that. That's a thing of beauty. These plants are smaller. We don't know what they are yet. I'm thinking probably summer squash. It looks like it. Did you see that? Look at that. I believe that's a summer squash. Oh, you got some water on you. Hold on. Maybe you can see better now. There we go. I think that's a summer, that's a summer squash. It's working on yellowing up. Over here we got buttercup squash growing in the cattle panels. Look at that, it's a thing of beauty. This garden is jamming. We're just gonna keep weaving them. Look at all those squash. And the potatoes, they're looking amazing. I can't wait till we can start harvesting more of this stuff. We're gonna have to get working on our outdoor kitchen. We're gonna need a place to process all this wonderful, bountiful harvest we're gonna have. That's gonna be hopefully starting in a few days. We can get this project going. We have the time. We just gotta make sure the weather's right. It's looking like there's rain in the forecast, but we're keeping our fingers crossed because we wanna get building the outdoor kitchen. The apple trees are dropping so many apples. That's a good problem for us to have right now. I'm gonna put them to use. When I see apples on the ground, you know what I think? I think apple flavored bacon! Good morning, girls. Is that a good apple there, Mrs. Pigs? Mmm, I bet they are. Here's our automatic pig feeder. This thing works amazing. You gonna use it for our spots? Oh, thank you. The automatic pig feeder works amazing. I'll leave a link to that video right here. Speaking of apple flavored bacon, October 27th through the 29th, Han Hewn Farms is gonna be at Lumna Acres. We're gonna be putting on a three day pig harvesting class and on the last day, we're gonna be learning about how to make our own sausage, bacon, charcuteries, hams. I'm gonna leave a link to that class down below. If you guys wanna sign up and come take the class, click on the link. Look at Mrs. Pig's using the feeder. Let's check on the kitchen garden. I call it the kitchen garden because the kitchen's right there and we can look out our kitchen window as we're doing dishes and look at the garden. Isn't that an amazing thing? Look at all these tomatoes. Wow. I can't wait till we're eating some of these with BLTs. Look at the cabbage. That thing's coming in nice. The broccoli got hit by Japanese beetles, but that's all right. It was bolting anyways. The peppers are looking beautiful. We've got plenty of flowers. And as some of the modern steaders pointed out in the last Friday's modern steader update, we have a pepper. Look at that, it's beautiful. We got another little pepper going there. Look at all the beautiful flowers. And then the tomatoes. Wow, that's not a thing of beauty. This is making me hungry. I can't wait till these tomatoes ripen up. And we can get some BLTs. Look at all the tomatoes on this plant. Wow. It's a thing of beauty. Oh, our first tomato's starting to ripen up. 
Over here we got our carrots. They seem to be doing nice right now. Those tops are growing pretty good. Carrots are one of those funny things. You don't know what they're doing until you pull them out of the ground. Doesn't matter what the tops look like. We have to replant this with some other vegetables soon. We got our corn. We got one of them starting to tassel up. Let's check on the beans we started planting the other day. They're starting to sprout. So these are some more uh, these are some more pole beans that one of our subscribers, Earl, sent us. Thank you, Earl. These beans are looking amazing. The reason why you plant pole beans with your corn is the corn acts as a pole for your bean to grow up, and then the bean fixes nitrogen into the soil for your corn. It's a win-win for both plants. The onions over here are looking so much better. That's a nice patch of onions. They're growing nicely. That's a nice little bulb. Gina's got these mulched up all nice. Over here we have our green beans. These are bush green beans. They're doing nice. They're flowering up perfect. Then you come over here, we got our purple green beans. And they're starting to produce little tiny green beans. I've seen a few more. I believe it was up here. Look at those. Isn't that so cute? All the little tiny green beans. Look at them all. We're going to be harvesting green beans before you know it. And these are purple. And when you cook them, they turn green. That's pretty long. Wow, look at them all. What a thing of beauty. The beets are coming in nicely. We'll be getting some beet greens pretty soon. And then we're gonna have some beets to eat before you know it too. Over here we planted our second crop of beets and they sprouted up and they're looking pretty good. See them right here? It's our beets. They're doing good. The little seed you plant really isn't a seed, it's more of a pod and it consists of three or four seeds. And that's why when beets start sprouting, they're always in a close little bunch like this. The Icelandic eggs are on day 15. We candled them again the other night and they're growing even better. We're so looking forward to these chicks hatching out. We're keeping our fingers crossed that this batch, we have better luck. We're hoping the issues we had with the other batches we tried hatching out was the incubators. Now we got our new incubators from Coops and more. We're keeping our fingers crossed. We'll find out in six more days. We hope you enjoyed today's modern stutter update. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share the video. It's really helping the channel grow. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.